Hello! There is more and more news about Mbappe's possible departure appearing on the web. And today we're also going to talk about Messi and surprising transfer rumors. Yeah, welcome back to our channel. Make yourself comfortable as we've prepared all the breaking news for you. Subscribe, hit the like button and let us know in the comments what club in your opinion is going to make the biggest breakthrough this season. While you make your choice, we begin. Let's go! Chelsea have extended Bakayoko's contract for a year. They negotiated with Milan to send the midfielder on loan with a purchase option. Bayern Munich captain Manuel Neuer got injured in the German Super Cup game and might miss the game against Köln. Chelsea's Emerson joins Lyon on season-long loan for €500,000 with a purchase option. Manchester United is willing to pay Pogba £400,000 a week. The player is thinking about all the options. Mohamed Salah might become the highest-paid player in Liverpool history. Contract negotiations are underway. The agreement can be extended until 2025. Karim Benzema will today extend for Real Madrid until 2023. His 1 billion euros release clause will remain. Ex-Barcelona coach Ernesto Valverde spoke about his relationship with Messi at Barca. It has to stay a secret. It's better that people don't know the truth. La Sexta quotes Valverde. Braithwaite intends to stay at Barca. He is willing to leave only for another top club. Tuchel, Guardiola and Mancini are the three nominees for the UEFA Coach of the Season award. Serie A team Venezia introduced their third jersey made by Kappa. It is inspired by the Venetian Lagoon. The Barcelona board will ask Griezmann and Coutinho to cut wages. The club wants to renegotiate all players' contracts. There were 50 people who saw Gasparini's aggression. I have no clue why he continues to lie. Papu Gomez landed another punch towards Atalanta's manager. Fiorentina have extended the contract with Nikola Milenkovic. Manchester United, City and Juventus recently showed their interest in the Serbian defender. Mbappe? In my opinion, Kylian will stay and spend the season here at PSG, said PSG coach Maurizio Pochettino. Lazio announced the signing of Pedro. This is a free-of-charge transfer, but the contract implies bonuses depending on the player's performance. Although Barcelona were going to sell Pjanic for 20 million euros at the start of the transfer window, now the club wants to send the player on loan. Juventus reveal their third kit for the new season. Yellow and blue are the colors of the Turin coat of arms. Bayern Munich won't sell Lewandowski this summer under any circumstances. Milan, we have different ambitions, but I will remain their fan forever. Gianluigi Donnarumma said, Umtiti will leave Barcelona before the end of the transfer window. If the club won't be able to sell the player or send him to another club on loan, the Catalans will just terminate the contract. Napoli introduced their new stylish kit designed by Giorgio Armani. According to Fabrizio Romano, Martin Odegaard today will sign for Arsenal until 2026. Juventus are interested in Man City centre-back Emerick Laporte, as reported by The Times. Bernardo Silva wants to play in La Liga. Barca offered a swap, but Man City will accept only the sale. Real Madrid returns to Santiago Bernabeu on September 12th in the game against Celta. Juventus are considering selling midfielder Weston McKenney. The Turin team has several offers on the player. Barcelona have three different options for Mariba. To sign the offered contract, leave the club for 15 million euros or spend the full season in the stands. Juventus stole Chiesa from us. This team is always playing dirty games, as well as Barca and Inter, a Fiorentina president Rocco Camiso said. Thomas Tuchel is counting on Chalaba. Chelsea initiated negotiations to sign a new contract with the player. PSG's negotiations with Ran on Eduardo Camavinga's transfer are in an advanced stage. Real Madrid have found a replacement for Casemiro. Madrid are interested in signing Monaco's defensive midfielder Aurelian Chouameni. Atletico Madrid refused Arsenal's £55 million bid for Kieran Trapier. Holland's contract can be redeemed for €90 million Euros in the summer of 2022, as the Sport1.de website assures its readers. Manchester City has the most expensive squad according to Transfermarkt. The cost of the team's squad is 1 billion and 60 million euros. Leeds have extended Bamford's contract. He scored 17 goals last season in the Premier League. Let's have a look at the results of the most interesting matches that happened yesterday. And now it's finally time to show you the main news of today's episode. Let's go! 
Robert Lewandowski is willing to leave Bayern Munich in this transfer window. According to Sky Sports, the 32-year-old Polish striker is interested in a new challenge in his career. Although he is happy with everything in the Munich team, he'd like to move to another European club before his 35th birthday. Bayern estimates Robert at more than 100 million euros and expects him to stay until the end of the contract that is active until summer 2023. Lewandowski is upset by Bayern's decision, but he is not going to force his transfer as it might ruin a good relationship with the club. UEFA have announced the top three contenders for the Player of the Year award. These are Jorginho, N'Golo Kante and Kevin De Bruyne. The three finalists have been chosen as a result of voting among 24 coaches from Euro 2020 participant teams, 80 coaches from clubs that participated in the group stages of Champions League and Europa League, and the jury also included 55 journalists from each UEFA member national association. Lionel Messi pretty surprisingly took fourth place as he got 148 points. Robert Lewandowski is in fifth place, 140 points, Donnarumma 49 points, Mbappe 31 points, Sterling 18 points, Ronaldo 16 points and Holland 15 points. Florentino Paris has almost reached an agreement for making two huge transfers that can turn the world of football upside down. We are going to reveal the story about Mbappe a little later, and now we focus your attention on an insider from the Spanish journalist Ciro Lopez, who stated the following. As far as I know, Real Madrid and Borussia already have reached an agreement on Holland's move to Madrid in the summer of 2022. Just a quick reminder that the transfer amount can range from 75 to 80 million euros, and the Norwegian himself had previously expressed a desire to continue his career at the Madrid club. We wonder if Ciro Lopez's prediction will come true. Mbappe is thrilled with Messi's transfer. According to Lequip, Kylian has repeatedly expressed his admiration for the new signing of PSG in a conversation with his friends. Guys, this is Messi, Lionel Messi himself. That's how the young superstar shared his impressions of playing alongside the Argentine in training sessions. Lionel Messi won't play for PSG in the third round of Liga 1 against Brest. As Le Parisien reports, Paris Saint-Germain head coach Maurizio Pochettino decided not to include the Argentine in the squad. He believes that Leo is still not in his optimal physical shape. Therefore, Messi's debut for PSG has been postponed to August 29th in an away match against Prem. Some interesting details we managed to find out from the conversation between Kylian Mbappe and PSG president Nasser al Khelaifi, which took place earlier this week. According to the radio station on the Cerro, the striker once again refused to sign a new contract and said that he wants to leave PSG and go to Real Madrid already this summer. Now PSG have a choice, either to leave Mbappe for this last season under the contract or to sell him to Real Madrid for over 100 million euros, according to Le Parisien. Well, that's a tough spot. At the same time, El Chiringuito TV journalist Jota Jordi believes that Messi's PSG transfer opens up the way for Mbappe to Madrid. Paris could potentially agree to sell Kylian because they signed the best player in the world. Kylian Mbappe is still determined to move to Real Madrid this summer, according to Marca. He rejected all offers from the Parisians to extend the contract and made it clear to the club's management about his desire to change the team. Real Madrid, despite their interest in acquiring the 22-year-old striker, refused the agents and other intermediaries to take part in the negotiations. Madrid have not made any inquiries to PSG and the deal will be discussed directly by Florentino Perez and Tamim bin Hamad Al Thani, Emir of Qatar, who is also the French team's owner. Al Thani is the one who will make the final decision on Mbappe's future and if he approves the sale of the striker, Real Madrid will be able to start negotiations. And the final news for today, a picture of a lonely Mbappe at PSG training. Has the team already found out about Kylian's decision to leave the team? Dear friends, make sure to go and check out our new project Top Football News, where the guys humorously reviewed the most interesting football news. Enjoy the show! And it was Football News! Have a nice one, and see you in a bit!